All right, guys, we're back in my garage for another episode of the B58 Digest. If you're new to the channel, I use these videos to help keep you updated on the latest developments in the B58 community. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to subscribe to the channel. There will be a lot more of these videos coming out in the future. So today's update comes from Protuning Freaks, and they've updated the boot mode app to add additional capability for its users. So some of you have seen this come out and asked a couple questions about why it's important or what its uses are. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So the first thing that they're updating is the ability to adjust the throttle sensitivity in any off the shelf or custom map. So you have these sliders underneath the settings where you can actually reduce the sensitivity of the throttle. Now, this is something that's really nice to have. A lot of people don't realize this, but I actually had the throttle adjusted in my custom tune. And one of the big reasons is something that they mention on here is basically just for traction control. So if you're going to use a setting like Sport Plus, you want to have all of the other features that come with it. So you can have stiffer steering, stiffer suspension, and you know some relaxed traction control. But when you increase the throttle sensitivity, it makes it a lot harder to manage that. And that's why some modes like DSC Off default to comfort throttle. So that way, if you're using it on a track and you're basically trying to manage your throttle around turns, you have that extra little bit of travel and control to manage your traction. So you can get as much power out of the car as possible without overwhelming your tires. And that's really where this comes into play, especially for people like me that drive a manual transmission. It can be pretty frustrating to have that super spiky throttle output on the initial tip in. So this way you can dull it down a little bit in Sport and Sport Plus and still get all the other benefits of those settings. The other one that's a big one for us in the B58 community is Selective Adaptations Reset. So this way you're able to reset specific adaptations for different settings in your car without doing the complete wipe that was basically the only option we had before. So if you scroll through here, you can see a couple of the different options we have and it might make more sense where you might want to use this. One big one is for the battery. That's something that usually you need to go in and do coding yourself to reset the adaptations for your battery so the car knows you have a new one in there. Now you can do it directly from the app. And you can also do it for other components, like maybe you replaced your throttle body. Now you can reset the adaptations for your throttle body. So now it can start from scratch and basically relearn everything. Now this isn't something that you probably need to do all the time. Most of these settings are constantly being updated and the car is constantly adjusting for your conditions and driving style. But this is just a really quick way to reset it back to zero and speed up that learning process. So it's not really something that is recommended to do all the time, but in specific situations, it can definitely be useful. So yeah, at the end of the day, it's really just giving you more options and more configuration at your fingertips without really taking anything away. So hard to argue with that. I'm definitely excited to see how people give their feedback for folks that have tried this out, and hopefully you all enjoy it. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helps. And if you have any other questions or comments, leave them down below. Do 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 do